In this snip, we're going to look at a super simple way of hosting a static website in Azure. So first thing we need to do is go to the Azure portal and create a new storage account. So if we click on storage accounts on the left hand side and click on add at the top and fill in the form. So if we give it a name, we need to select the account kind of storage v2, scroll down to the bottom and give it a resource group, click on create. So once the deployment has succeeded, if we click on refresh, we should see our storage account appear in the list. So if we click into that, scroll down very slightly on the settings, we should see static website here in the list. So we click onto that and then go to click on enabled. And all we need to do is put in the index.html file we need to put into here and click on save. So the last thing we need to do is go up to Storage Explorer and we should see that we've now got a dollar web container already pre-created for us. So this is where we need to upload our file. So if we go and find our index.html file and click on upload, you'll see it there in the list. So now if we go back to the static website configuration, we should see the URL here for the site. So if we browse to that, we should see our super simple website. However, this is on a windows.net domain name. We can, however, create a custom domain name. If we go to DNS register and add in a C name for blog and point that at our hosted website. And the next thing we need to do is go back to our storage account Scroll down again in the settings, go to blob service and then custom domain here. Just need to enter the custom domain that we've created and then click on save. So if we open up a new tab, our browser and go to the new DNS name, we should see our very simple static website hosted with our custom domain name. And that was a super simple way of hosting a static website in Azure.